Text queries can contain hierarchy variables and or hierarchy node variables. Hierarchy variables enable you to choose which hierarchy you want to use out of those available in the data source. Hierarchy node variables enable you to choose which portion of a hierarchy you want to display in the report. When you work with BEX queries containing hierarchy or hierarchy node variables, you can decide which variables you want to prompt users to answer when they run the report, and which ones you'll provide answers for yourself. Note that hierarchy and hierarchy node variables can be mandatory or optional. Also note that BEX queries may or may not be configured with default prompt values. When variables are mandatory, and no default values are provided, you cannot generate a report without first responding to the prompts. Open the selected BEX query. The selected data source contains a mandatory hierarchy variable, as well as a mandatory hierarchy node variable. The BEX query does not provide default values for either variable, so you're prompted to set values for them before the query panel opens. Provide responses for both prompts. Expand the levels below world in the hierarchy to understand the hierarchy structure. View the member selector for the country hierarchy. Normally, the member selector allows you to choose the desired members or levels of a hierarchy from a list. In this case, the BEX query contains a hierarchy node variable for country, so instead of member or level lists, you get the option to either display all descendants of the selected hierarchy node, or to display the number of levels below the selected node you'd like to include in the report. Set the report to include hierarchy members based on a relative depth of one level. Whenever a data source contains hierarchy or hierarchy node variables, a set variables button is available in the query panel. This enables you to choose for each variable whether to set the value as part of the report design or to prompt users for a value when they run the report. Note that the variable values you previously set are retained. Both variables are currently set as prompts, meaning that users will be prompted for variable values when they run the report. The country hierarchy prompt opens. Refresh the list of values, then select country hierarchy 2. Expand the world node to see how many levels of the country hierarchy are included in the document. Note that the document displays one level below the world node, as specified in the set variables dialog box. You've successfully worked with hierarchy and hierarchy node variables in SAP Business Objects Web Intelligence. Thanks for watching.